hello everyone in this video i am going to show you the easiest way that is used to help determine the thermodynamic relation this is a trick which is known as the magic square and with the help of this magic square you can easily find many relations of thermodynamics in just 10 seconds so irrespective of whether you are a student of chemistry or physics this video is very important for you so let us start it this is the magic square let's try to draw it first of all draw a square like this and place two crossed arrows in upward direction inside the square these are the two crossed arrow now place some thermodynamic functions and the variables on which these thermodynamic functions depend so in this magic square each side is associated with energies like internal energy u enthalpy h gibbs free energy g and helmholtz free energy a and each energy is flanked by its two most important natural variables the conjugate variables occupy opposite ends of each diagonal and the crossed arrows point upward toward volume V and temperature T and away from entropy S and pressure P. Okay? The arrow heads are assigned to have positive charge while the arrow tails are assigned to have negative charge okay now to remember this you can remember the sequence v a t u g s h p or you can remember the mnemonic good people have studied under very ambiguous teacher isn't it interesting i hope so now place the first alphabet of each word in the order like this G P H S U P A T okay now from this magic square we can find that internal energy U is a function of S and P enthalpy H is a function of S and P and Gibbs free energy is a function of T and P while the Helmholtz free energy A is a function of T and V right now let us find some thermodynamic identity of energy to derive these relationships you have to move in the magic square like this du equal to T D S minus p d p since p is at the arrow tail so the term p d v is negative similarly d h equal to t d s plus p d p okay both v and t are in arrow head so both terms are positive again dz equal to minus s dt plus v dp since s is at the arrow tail so the first term is negative and da equal to minus s dt minus p d p since both s and p are at arrow tail so both terms are negative clear Using this magic square, we can easily find out the partial derivatives of the four important thermodynamic functions with respect to their natural variables. So now let us check how we can do this. First of all, let us consider internal energy U. So in this magic square, we have to move in this way. Partial derivative of U with respect to S at constant v is equal to t similarly partial derivative of u 
with respect to v at constant s equal to minus p since p is at the arrow tail so therefore it is minus p understand now the next one here again partial derivative of s with respect to s at constant p is equal to t right similarly partial derivative of s with respect to p at constant s equal to v since both t and v are at the arrow head so therefore both are positive so applying the same technique we can find out the other two relationships as shown here so all of you try to find out these two relationships using the magic square and if you have any doubts then put your thoughts in the comment box okay now let us move on to the most interesting and most difficult equations that is the maxwell's relations to find the maxwell's relationships from the magic square we have to move in the magic square in a particular manner so let us see what happens to derive the maxwell's first relationship we have to move on in the magic square like this partial derivative of t with respect to v at constant s is equal to partial derivative of p with respect to s at constant v but since p is at the arrow tail so put a minus sign in the right hand side so this is the maxwell's first relationship okay again to find out the maxwell's second relationship we have to move on like this partial derivative of v with respect to s at constant p equal to partial derivative of t with respect to p at constant s but since both v and t are at the arrow head so both sides are positive okay now let us find out the maxwell's third relationship to find out this relationship you have to move on in the magic square like this partial derivative of s with respect to p at constant t equal to partial derivative of v with respect to t at constant p since s is at the arrow tail so it should be minus but if we multiply this equation by minus 1 then we will get this relationship now let us find out the maxwell's fourth relationship to find out this relationship you have to move on in the magic square like this partial derivative of p with respect to t at constant v equal to partial derivative of s with respect to v at constant t since both s and p are at the arrow tail so the both sides of this equation should have been minus but since the two minus signs cancel one another so therefore we get this relationship okay in this way we can find out this four maxwell's relationships understand so this is the easiest trick to remember or to find out the maxwell's relationships however these relationships are actually derived using some mathematical calculations and using some thermodynamic equations clear now let us solve some uh, mcq based on thermodynamic relations which are very much important for jam csr net gate and many other competitive examinations okay let us solve the first one the problem is indicate which of the following relations is not correct so four relations are given we have to find out the relation which is not correct so this question can be easily solved with the help of the magic square 
okay let us check the first option and see whether it is correct or not partial derivative of t with respect to v at constant s equal to partial derivative of p with respect to s at constant v since p is at the error tail so it should be minus okay so therefore the option one is correct right in the second option we have partial derivative of t with respect to p at constant s equal to partial derivative of p with respect to s at constant p in the option the right hand side is negative but from the magic square we can see that both p and t are at the arrow head so both sides of the equation should be positive that means the option 2 is wrong therefore option 2 is a relation which is not correct clear now let us solve another problem the problem is the correct thermodynamic relation among the following is the options are given so now let us check the options one by one in the first option we have uh, partial derivative of u with respect to p at constant s equal to minus p since p is at the arrow tail so it is negative as seen from the magic square so option one is correct in option two the partial derivative of s is taken with respect to v but from the magic square we have seen that s is a function of s and p so we have to consider the variation of s with respect to s and p only not with respect to p so option 2 is not correct similarly from the magic square we can see that g is a function of t and p only so therefore option 3 is also not correct in option 4 partial derivative of a with respect to p it should have been at constant t because a is a function of v and t but not at constant s as seen from the magic square so option 4 is also not correct therefore the answer of this question is option 1 which is a correct thermodynamic relationship right dear students these are two simple mcqs based on thermodynamic relations which were asked in csir ugc net examination there are many such type of questions which were already asked in various competitive examinations so if you are able to understand the use of this magic square then you can easily solve such questions correctly so please try to use this magic square which will be very much helpful for you in solving different mcqs so if you have any doubts or suggestions please inform me in the comment box thanks for your patience and if you like this video please subscribe my channel